Welcome back. This is Infinite Phoenix Gaming. My name is Victor, and we are playing Call of Thulu. We are in Chapter 3, and it is getting exciting now. So stay tuned, and we are going to get started right now. Go ahead and hit that like button, though, and subscribe if you don't want to miss an episode. Thanks again. Let's go ahead and get started. Welcome back. This is Chapter 3. My name is Victor, here on Infinite Phoenix Gaming, and this is Call of Thulu. So far we're just Investigator Pierce, researching the death of Sarah Hawkins. Trying to prove, I guess, that she's not crazy. Although the paintings she does leaves one questions. Well, here we are. Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Your partner Andrews warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bomb? I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kind of unfair at the same time. You know, kind of like this guy. Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? <laughs> it's really funny he asks that every time. You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha! <laughs> You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. Actually, I do. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee. If you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go, right? Night falls quickly here, and I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. Okay, so he's going to follow me. I'm not going to walk behind him, but I will check this. Gang boss, cat. 
boss of a gang bootlegger which seems to use Darkwater as a hideout. Cat always keeps an eye on her territory, the zone of abandoned warehouses on the docks. I have the impression that all the men on Darkwater fear her, even Mitchell, the owner of the stranded well. She uses Darkwater as a point of departure for her cargoes of whiskey and she is slowly gnawing away at Captain Fitzroy's territory. And Officer Bradley, I like him. This hick cop likes order and justice. He's no great sleuth, but he seems more inclined than his colleagues to discover the truth. The inhabitants of the island seem to be friendly with him, and he could help me in this case. Okay, I like, I like Officer Bradley. So I found one last clue, the Hawkins warehouse. Officially unused since Charles Hawkins' death, this warehouse recently housed cland a clandestine resident. Signs of life attest to this fact, the presence of bloodstained bandages must also be noted, probably removed from a wound as well as pills, painkillers and sleeping pills. Moreover, the occupant seems to be obsessed with Sarah Hawkins, as attested by the presence of several documents connected to the artist's life. But it is the discovery of a partly charred painting recognized by Officer Bradley as having come from the mansion that allows all doubts to be lifted as to the link between this building and the Hawkins case. And we have one new place, the Hawkins Mansion Gardens. It's perched on the top of a steep cliff. The abandoned garden harbors the graves of the Hawkins family and the only caretaker, Silas Winchester, still roams this bleak spot. He protects it fiercely and still puts flowers on the graves of his old masters, a very gloomy place. Okay. I guess we follow Officer Bradley at this point. Where is he taking me? If the mansion's over there... I'm curious enough to follow. Whoa. Charles Hawkins Crave. Who could have done this? I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say it's pretty gloomy. So, detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the bear. Poor kid. What kind of deranged individual Poor kid. Fire the sanctuary and steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing, let alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is above that. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. So we're going to give him just a minute. And then we'll proceed into the Hawkins Mansion. Kind of got a gloomy look to it. Maybe he won't mind if I go on ahead. I guess we'll go back for Officer Bradley. I do want him there with me.
Okay, maybe I'm not supposed to wait for him. We're gonna go on. gives me the willies. That's all right. I'll have to find another entrance. There's that bird again. There's another one of them. It's a big bird. What is that? Just logs? This entrance is still in use. Oh boy, we're breaking in. Here we go. Whoa! Holy Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, alright? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them! Dump them into the ocean! Whoa! Uh, oh man. Uh, this is getting intense. You're. Mr. Winchester, lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. You haven't forgiven yourself. You stay here to honor the memory of the deceased. That's true. I want no more violence. No more tragedy. It's painful to be the last one left. You don't know how right you are. Understood. I'm listening. The police report describes a domestic accident, but Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule, and I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. The sooner I carry out my investigation, the sooner I wrap up the case and return to Boston. After which, you'll never hear of me again. Huh. I like the sound of that, but I have a better idea. You leave right now, and you never come back. Silas! Pierce! In God's name, what are you doing? Officer Bradley, uh. this hood was trying to break into the mansion. Do something, Bradley, or this story will have a nasty ending. I vouch for him, Silas. He's working with us. We have reason to believe that someone entered the mansion and stole some paintings. Impossible. I would have seen it. Better safe than sorry. Now let us in. I promise to keep an eye on this one. Hmm. Okay then. I'll leave the key with you. You could have told me that earlier, Sonny. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. All right, we're in. We're gonna go into the mansion. The Hawkins Mansion is now our place to investigate. We're going in. Yes. Shall let's take a look inside. I'm with you. Chapter three is going very well. I'm excited. We're gonna get into the mansion. Look at all those books. All right. Very exciting. Follow right. me. I know the place. I'm behind you, Officer Bradley. Who Let's left do this, this light on? All the lights are on. Ooh, I got a character point. 
Definitely glad somebody has a light. The last there. supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? What kind of meat is this? This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. Is that all I'm going to get out of this? The boy was probably here, smashed his plate on the floor. Sarah Hawkins played. Why did she leave it untouched? Something happened at this table. An argument? Hey, Pierce. Daydreaming again? Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Let's see if I can find Silas something. Silas managed the cops to bring missed. the fire under control, but it was already. Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? They had a fight. Why? So what did happen here? I can't get to much of the fire scene. What's the boy doing? The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? We don't see the others. I don't understand. What do you want from me, game? So... Did someone escape the fire? Stop at the time of the fire. Hmm. I think that's all we're going to get out of this deconstructive scene. I feel like I'm missing something. If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Okay, we got it all. Cool. Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight.
Someone fell here. A desperate attempt to flee. Huh. And the boy. So, detective, what do you make of it? I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. <laughs> What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. What is he doing? I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If this door is locked. Out about what we're doing, this I door is locked. Trouble. These bandages are covered in dried blood. The same bandages that I saw in the warehouse on the docks. And given the lyrics of the drunken sailor, the sea shanty. He, it was written here. The lyrics of the drunken okay, sailor. Okay, sorry about that. Sea I didn't shanty. mean to hit that twice. I understand how annoying that could be. It's quite a building, don't you think? Do you know that the Hawkins were among the wealthiest families on the island? So I can't do anything. Oh, hmm. here we are. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. Seems fair. What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles's inheritance. A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. That sure is a long time ago. So... Let's take a look at what we have so far. Oh wow, I have more available points. Let's go ahead and do my investigation. And I'm gonna start moving up. I thought I did psychology to three, that was weird. Okay, oh I didn't save it. Okay, well that's fine. So we got Cat, we went over her, we went over Officer Bradley. So, the smashed oil lamp is the official cause of the accidental fire. The bloodstains on the debris, however, tell a very different story. This clock was broken at 10 o'clock. It could be the time of the fire, or it could have nothing to do with it. In contradicting the police report, the Hawkins drawing room tells a totally different version of the fire that claimed the whole family, beginning with the presence of a handprint that throws up the possibilities of a survivor. The bodies of Charles and Sarah Hawkins left no mark on the floor, nor, to that matter, in the drawing room. Contrary to that of the child, still visible close to the fireplace. The same goes for the glass shards on the floor. A close inspection reveals the presence of blood on several of them. On the wall, the very clear mark left by the painting found in the Hawkins warehouse confirms that the Hawkins case could be much more than a domestic accident. And we now have a key. Okay. Uh, let's, let's go upstairs. We're going to see what else we can in this place. 
there's anything else it'll let me see. One of Sarah Hawkins paintings. Her style sure is recognizable. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. goes on and on that looks like the main hall actually oh, that lightning is a little bit terrifying I'm not gonna lie oh my god it was a mouse it's okay this door is locked Oh my god, where am I? What will her room reveal about her? Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. That is interesting. Skills, boy. Perfect. Let's get in here. What the hell? I just noticed what the heck was going on here. I'm half expecting to find the Necronomicon in here. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. Okay. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. Ever since you left to bury yourself away on that lost island, your art has been attracting increasing numbers of collectors. I beg you, send me some new paintings. The last one's so somber and strange, moving as no other paintings have, or then they're selling at a premium. Your percentage of these most recent sales is attached. Don't forget your friend who is the first to recognize your genius. Okay, let's go on. Can I look at that at all? I can. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? Let's see. If the creature is not yet anchored in our dimension, an expulsion ritual might work. As long as the person performing it makes sure he integrates the Elder Sign among the glyphs to make up the ceremonial circle. Be careful, though, because the works that describe the creation of such circles are not all of proven reliability. Okay, I don't have any idea why I got that. Uh, depressant to the nervous system. The Shambler. Oh, I don't like the sound of the Shambler. That's, that's foreshadowing? How did I know it was Francisca? That's interesting. Uh, okay. Well, I think we are ready to go on. Yeah, I'm a little nervous about this. Let's see here. In the entrance hall of the mansion, a lighted up lamp seems to be waiting for us. And the old caretaker, who thinks he can stop people from entering. I must find the place where the Hawkins family died, en route. I'll pick up as much information as I can on their life. The dining room was untouched since the night of the fire. It taught me something. Charles and Sarah, there was an argument that night between them. In the partly burned out drawing room, the fire has perhaps left a few other clues that weren't in the police report. Even Officer Bradley was forced to admit it. 
This room tells a far different story. The presence of blood on the shards of the glass lamp, the mark of a hand left on the door by someone fleeing the fire. We are in a crime scene. I must continue searching the mansion to look for information on the life and death of the Hawkins family. In Sarah Hawkins' office, a circle drawn on the floor and candles indicate that occult rituals were held here. What was the cause of these huge scratches? So now I want to see the scratches. Is that the scratches? Whoa, they're big. Locked. Oh, I can't hold Locked. the button down and pick the lock. Oh, oh, why? Did I get all the drawers? Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. I don't like the sound of the Shambler either. I really don't. That name itself kind of scares me. Let's get out of here. Bradley? Is that you? We're gonna go in here real quick. I think that was the key to this room. Oh, those are the scratches. Oh. So dark. Yeah, this was the main hall. I guess we need to go up the stairs. Is anyone there? This is our art room, right? where she paints oh man it's getting a little intense out here what is it gonna do What in the hell is that? How does she have me on her wall? Oh my god! Oh shit! You! Stop! Oh no. Bradley, did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. <sighs> this door is blocked from the outside. I'll cover you. This door was closed earlier. Where did he go? As if the bookcase has been moved several times. The Scylla. It's the it looks like a freehand map of dark water. Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. The Scylla. It's the boat that was strapped. This panel is movable. Do you really think that your fugitive came in here? Cogwheels. They must be linked to an opening mechanism. Probably a secret passage. I must find a way to activate the opening mechanism.
Great. I managed to force the gears. Looks like I've triggered something. Well done, Pierce. Going after this thief. How did he do all that so quickly? The thief isn't even down this way, is he? Tunnel. Oh, wow. So that was chapter three. Thank you all for joining me. We will continue again with chapter four. Go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't, and we'll see you for chapter four very soon. Thanks, everybody. Oh, that was exciting. See you again. Chapter three was super exciting. Chapter four is going to be a little crazy, I bet, but who knows? Go ahead and tune in, and let's see chapter four. I'm going to go ahead and end this here, and we'll see you all for chapter four tomorrow. Thanks again, everybody.